Hey, how's it going? I thought this might be worth covering some of those opportunities available out there for uh, many people out there, right? Uh, I have covered a number of those already that would be potentially within the next six months there might be an opportunity in launching and setting up your own social media. I think they're looking for news uh, media, right? Uh, platforms out there within Europe and there uh, might be a next opportunity within six or seven months or so. Uh, based on history, it's uh, they uh, always supporting about three projects every year. Uh, next opportunity I have covered already that would be BBC within uh, uh, would that be national broadcasting channel within UK? Uh, it's just because of a lot of funding coming from uh, government, right? Perhaps instead of natural, or perhaps instead of the businesses, or perhaps government are subsidizing some of those uh, media organizations. And uh, a massive sum. We talk about 3.8 billion <laughs> been covered by taxpayers. Uh, next opportunity, I have covered already that 25 million fund that was uh, taking a look at uh, infrastructure and potentially 2.5 million that uh, every project can receive. But it need to be a research organization, from what I understood. But uh, perhaps if it's something that you're yourself interested in. And uh, within this video, I'm going to be taking a look at our archive uh, engagement grant. Let's try. I haven't read this grant yet. I have seen it. So I thought it might be worth covering in more detail. And uh, the, the, which, uh, while I'm reading it, I might, might as well share that opportunity with others. Perhaps others might be interested in something similar to that. Uh, myself, I just had a conference call uh, where uh, well, the person was uh, teaching a group of us of uh, how to take part in a uh, procurement process right, for any suppliers, how potentially sell products or services to governments, right? or I think it would be considered councils. right? So it would be area, the way how uh, councils will see themselves within a particular area we can potentially sell. Uh, products or service. So I can cover that uh, perhaps in the next video. It's perhaps something I can do tomorrow for people who are interested in selling products or services to government and what that process could look like. But, uh, uh, it was uh, <laughs> the people out there who were trying so hard to answer all those questions. <laughs> it was an uh, interesting experience, I guess. Uh, let's focus on the, uh, uh, today's video, right? Uh, that would be archive engagement grant. The engagement grant program offers grants of up to £5,000 for organizations to conduct outreach and engagement projects that will connect archives with their communities in the places across England and Wales. Okay, so there's a reason why you would search like that. <laughs> uh, this year's grants are based on the idea and the concept of place. Okay, okay. Heritage has an important and unique role in bringing people closer together and explore places. Our hives contain the records of people, places, and events that have defined our shared history and enable us to understand our past. Interpreting and sharing collective stories and experiences. We will ask that you consider your collection and records and how you could use them to engage with new and existing audience to explore ideas relating to your place. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is what they are looking to. I, I don't know if I understood very well. Of what. So you yourself, you need to have it or you they have it. They have so much, but perhaps nobody knows. So that's how I understood it. But I don't know what they are looking to accomplish there while I'm reading it. Uh, summary, perhaps that would uh, give a better overview and or, uh, try, uh, let's try to understand what they're looking to accomplish with uh, some of the funding that was allocated to them. Uh, summary, this year our engagement grant will be teamed around the concept of place. Heritage has an important and unique role in bringing people closer together to explore place. Okay. Our highs contain records of people, places, and events that have define our shape, it's trying to enable our understand our past, interpreting and sharing collective stories and experiences. The National Archives believes that it's important to develop and create meaningful engagement with audience in the place and communities where our archives are located. Uh, okay, okay. So they're looking to uh, fund their own archives. 
<laughs> that's what they're looking to do. So you need to have archives and you can source finance from archives. That's what's happening. Or you can be taking part in helping them uh, to improve engagement. So this is what, what it should be, improve engagement so more people would get curious or interested in what were some of those activities. I, I personally believe that should be a problem, but I, I don't know, I'm, I'm still trying to understand some of those opportunities. We will ask that you consider your collections and records and how you could use them to engage with new and existing audience to explore ideas related to your place. You could consider proposals that are focused on a physical location, uh, appealing to the local communities you work with. You could also explore themes of different places using your archives to create engaging displays and archives for a new uh, country space you collect the best uh, represents. We are looking uh, for applicants that are inclusive, accessible, and inspiring for you, uh, your audience. Projects can be based at your archive service or involve outreach with uh, work with uh, collections. Okay, so okay. I'm looking to work with. <laughs> I'm not looking. At, I don't know. I don't know myself because you need to have uh, a lot of archives that you would like to share. If I will be storing anything, not necessarily that would be uh, well, just because of the laws, right? So uh, data protection laws, and not necessarily I myself be interested in sharing that other than perhaps documenting my daily <laughs> activities. I guess, um, so, and or perhaps we're looking to improve engagement on those. <laughs> I don't know. For the engagement grants will offer the theme around the moments of national culture importance, offering the importance of connecting our hearts with their communities and uh, the wider public. The engagement grant program offers grants of up to 5,000 for organizations to conduct outreach and uh, engagement projects that will connect our hearts with their communities in the places of England and Wales. Okay, so myself, I'm coming from a business perspective, perhaps there's different ways how to look at this grant and what they actually look into, uh, who else would get, get engaged with the perhaps they already have established network, right? Perhaps that, that, that's a network that they're looking to support. Uh, myself, I'm coming from a business perspective, so perhaps I can offer products and services, right? That's my, my way of looking at it. And if I can solve this problem for them, uh, that's a budget that they have to work with. Eligibility. Engagement grants are open to archivists and heritage professionals working with archive collections in England or Wales. Uh, in this grant, we cannot fund organizations based in Scotland, Northern Ireland, or Channel Islands, and Iceland, or those collected uh, held outside the United Kingdom. The program is open to uh, public sector bodies, non profit organizations, including registered charities, and uh, for non profit organizations, including, including business archives. Funding is not available for private individuals, right, right, right. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, so the, the, that's uh, some of those guidelines, right? We use the definition of archive collections as given within our archive service acceleration scheme. Uh, materials created or received uh, by a person, family, or organization, I don't know, it's worth covering. So there's going to be more information, right, so I'll share a screenshot and uh, some information and trying to understand a little bit better with our things, right? Uh, myself, uh, best course of action when I see something like that would be reach out and uh, ask before doing anything, right? If what would be classified, if that's okay, if it would be something that you myself uh, be interested in uh, accomplishing with this grant. Uh, that would be perhaps the best uh, time use than asking, right, before doing anything, right? So perhaps uh, that's the best way, but uh, again, I don't know if they will respond, if they will, everyone's too busy, we entering the holiday season, so I don't know nothing, right, other than have so it's written down. <laughs> we all can read exactly the same information, right? Uh, objectives uh, and uh, something that they're looking to achieve here that would be uh, uh, engagement grants programs offer grants of up to 5,000 organizations to conduct the outreach and engagement projects will, uh, that will connect our high school communities in the places across England and Wales. So it's something that they're looking to achieve. Let's uh, quickly take a look at how to apply, right? So perhaps there's a form to fill in, uh, and within that form you can, uh, I haven't done it, right? So there's a form to fill in, and if it's something that you're interested, uh, perhaps that's uh, one way to do it, right? Impact, delivery, uh, knowledge, perhaps there would be some of the scoring systems, right? Uh, email below if it's uh, something that you yourself, you have any questions or anything, perhaps they have a webinar where they will present all information, or perhaps there's a, there's a small team, I don't know, and perhaps everyone's very busy. 
since I have tried reaching out to this organization and see for opportunities or how we can work together. I have so many different books, so perhaps they were interested in collaborating, working together, so I have did it. There's no response. So if anything, <laughs> if I have to give a rating <laughs> in the responses, it would be perhaps of the time of the year, right? Uh, everyone's busy, perhaps uh, with other things, right? It's a very poor performance when it comes to some of those institutions and the way uh, how some of those institutions should be performing and how those institutions are performing right now. Perhaps uh, some of those AI projects can source this problem when it comes to engagement and or communication, right? Uh, information perhaps should be stored as a digital data instead of perhaps physical, perhaps, just in case. Digital, as well as need of having people in those places so that it is some of the operational cost and engagement. Since the responses, I don't know, it's, it's been a while, so right? Uh, definitely more than 15 working days. <laughs> I have no response. Yourself, if you're interested in learning more, I have published a book, uh, Game Strategy. Within this book, I'm sharing a lot of information, which I personally believe would be important for many businesses out there or people to understand uh, if you haven't got the business yet, uh, how to begin, where to start, right? Uh, within this book, I'm uh, taking a look at uh, major key areas of the concepts, right? Where to begin and how to think about business starting from very fundamental level that would be progressing from perhaps doing a lot of research, trying to understand, having access to some of our hives, something that we're covering, and or perhaps data, a lot of data. Once you have collected that data, perhaps history and everything what has happened in the past, you can uh, perhaps uh, mitigate some of the risk when it comes to starting your own business. Once you collect a lot of data or have access to archives and a lot of data, from there you can take action on that data that you have collected, right, and start your company, start your business. And uh, from there, once you perhaps started, uh, begin generating a lot of uh, finances, a lot of capital, you can reinvest that capital in other projects. So that would be stage one, stage two, and uh, stage three. You can find it in QR code in the corner as well as company's website below. Uh, just uh, perhaps a side side note, right? So I have seen, in particular, due to recent changes in the world uh, and how things are being done, who are still going to libraries, right? <laughs> That's a side note, right? Who's still going there? I don't think there's uh, many people who are going. It's very important myself. I have so many different books. <laughs> I like it, right? And I enjoy reading a lot of books, right? I don't know uh, those physical buildings. Again, it might come back to some of the expenses and how much it will cost to have those buildings and what will be the best use of those buildings and what's uh, currently been done with those buildings. So perhaps and then we'll take a look at some of operational costs, right? I have touched on the BBC and operational costs that this organization is having. Uh, libraries, we need to have those libraries, right? Okay. <laughs> What's operational cost there? <laughs> and now that I'm trying to access some information, so access some data from our hives, right? Or if I would need to. Uh, I, in, I think uh, overall this sector is so uh, inefficient <laughs> that nobody even considers that <laughs> because how ineffective this sector is. But perhaps it should be more effective, right? An operational cost. Perhaps some of that cost is currently being subsidized by taxpayers, right? Coming back to this point. And so many buildings might be... Okay, so if we have that, so if uh, a lot of taxpayers are invested in those buildings, libraries, books, and everything is there, how engagement, right? How we can increase engagement of more people being interested in books and reading, right? Perhaps we should improve the, some of those areas. And some of those projects up there should perhaps look for fundamentals, how improve some of those engagement areas, right? Uh, perhaps start with this uh, budget. It's uh, I don't know 5k. So uh, can you hire a person for three months? <laughs> can you hire someone for three months? Can you run something? Can you do something with 5k? But uh, that would be some of those areas. So, so there is a bigger problem. I think there is a bigger problem with that. I don't know if you're looking to address that. They have started some of the projects. I don't know how effective those projects uh, are. Some of those projects might be books on wheel. Uh, so, uh, so I think you can ask. For books to be delivered to your house, I think some some interesting projects. So they're doing something, right? So instead of physical buildings, right, which potentially uh, over time might be used as a storage, right, where those uh, physical books might be stored, and uh, things might be delivered to your home in some of those programs. 
uh, what started the part three or that I have started seeing those fragments of books on wheels, then you can ask for books to be delivered to your house, which is, which is kind of great. So that's, that's something, right? So engagement, right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.